Raider Nation, what's going on? This is the Raiders Report, and it's brought to you by our good friends, Bet DSI. I'm your host today, Mitchell Renz. Please follow me on Twitter, at MitchellRenz365. Today's show is packed full of awesomeness with news, rumors. we got three players that could be likely traded. So we're going to talk about the guy who, well, you just saw there, Amari Cooper, and he's the first guy on this list. And Amari Cooper, in case you don't know, he was traded to the Dallas Cowboys. He's now in Dallas. Maybe he's going to be having beers with me here shortly. But when you're looking at the overall move, the Raiders, they did get a 2019 first-round pick. They now have three first-round picks. But I want to know from Raider Nation, who won the Amari Cooper trade? Type O for Oakland or type D for Dallas? The fact that Amari Cooper now is no longer on the team, what does that mean for the Raiders' wide receiver depth chart? Well, it's thin. You're looking right now there at Jordy Nelson, young at the age of 33. He's the wide receiver one. Martavis Bryant's the wide receiver two. Seth Roberts, who is currently dealing with an injury, is the three. Who else are the Raiders going to throw to? Maybe a running back like Jalen Richard, who is second on the team, and receptions with 31. Jared Cook's another guy. The Raiders, they got a first-round pick. The Cowboys, they said, okay, we'll pay $14 million for next season because it was the last season of his deal. The Cowboys needed an elite wide receiver, and they think that they got one in Amari Cooper. If they got the Amari Cooper from 2015 to 2016, that guy had over 70 catches and over 1,000 yards. I think he's pretty elite. If it's the Amari Cooper who I saw in third year and in spurts this season, I don't know if that is an elite receiver. An elite channel that you need to subscribe to is YouTube.com slash Raiders Report. And if you want to see special segments that I do that only people who subscribe to the Raiders Report, you have to go to YouTube.com slash Raiders Report. And you can see all the awesome segments that we do over there. And tell your friends, tell your family, it's a Raiders page with only diehard Raider fans. The next Raiders news bet I got for you, Marcel Aitman. He's been promoted. Why? Because Amari Cooper is shipped off to the Cowboys and the Raiders need wide receiver help. Aitman, if you guys have watched my Raider show, is a guy who I talked about a lot in the offseason. Somebody who I liked a lot coming out of Oklahoma State. He was actually one of the guys who I said could potentially break out down the road. Now, I say that because he played well in the fourth preseason game. He actually led the Raiders in catches in the fourth preseason game and third preseason game. During the preseason, though, he was waived just simply because I don't think there was enough room when you're talking about them adding Martavis Bryant, adding Jordy Nelson. There just wasn't enough room for the rookie, who is 24, who is a big red zone target. 446 catches, 13 touchdowns at his time at OK State. Maybe he could bring some of that red zone presence and help out a guy like Derek Carr, who I think we can all agree needs some help in the red zone. The next news bit coming up here is Matt McCrane, the kicker. He's been cut, he's been released, and he is no longer an Oakland Raider. 5-9 on field goals. He had a long of 44. He was perfect on extra points. That matters, right? The Raiders, they went out and they signed Daniel Carlson. If you don't know who Daniel Carlson is, he was a fifth-round pick by the Vikings from the Auburn Tigers. Carlson's going to get his chance now for redemption with the Raiders. And the reason why Carlson was let go was because in week two for the Vikings, he was really bad. He missed three field goals. And after the game, Pat Shermer was like, why did we cut him? The dude missed three field goals. Hopefully, Carlson could be better. Pinero is going to be coming back in week nine from an injury. So maybe Carlson's not a long-term option, but maybe he's at least a short-term option. Raider Nation, I want to say thank you so much for tuning in to the Raiders Report. My name is Mitchell Renz. Please follow me on Twitter at MitchellRenz365.